Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about how to set up and run a CA XCOM data transport type equals inquire job. The first thing you'll need to do is browse to the high level qualifier of where you did your XCOM install and you're going to look for the data set of the low level qualifier of CBXG JCL. This is where the XCOM sample JCL is. And the first thing you'll need to do if you don't already have one done is define an inquire job or data set. And to do that, we're going to go into the member um, def inc, and we'll just edit that member. And in this member, we'll need to change three things. We'll need to change the job card. We'll need to change the high-level qualifier of where our inquire data set's going to be created. And we'll also need to give it a volume to be created on. And also make note that the uh, high-level qualifier for the or the inquire data set that you specify um, is a unique name and after I made all my changes I'm just going to submit this job and I can see that I got a return code of zero. Next if we just back out we're going to go into the XCOM job I member and we'll edit that member and if we look in this member we'll see that there's three different steps the first two steps are going to be um, XCOM job type equals schedule jobs. One thing to note, they have uh, the DD for the inquire data set that we create. We're going to add that in. And then if we look down at the third job, that's going to be the inquire job that runs after those two. So if we go back up to the top, we can see we need to change a few things. The first thing we're going to need to change is the job card. After that, we'll need to change the high-level qualifier of our XCOM install, and we'll also need to change the QSAM high-level qualifier. Need to specify a configuration name, um, the IP name of the server, and the IP port, along with the control data set of where our config member is. And lastly, we'll need to specify an H out data set. The H out is just going to be a temporary data set, but make sure it's a unique name. And now that I made all those changes, um, we're going to go down and we're going to have to fill in a few more things for step one and two and the inquire step. So when you go down to step one and step two, you're going to need to change the same things for them. Um, you're going to need to specify the destination IP name and IP port. Um, we're also going to take out LU because we're not going to be doing SNA transfers. And we're going to specify the local file and the remote file. We're just going to do uh, transfers and just have them create data sets inside um, this data set that we're using, just different members. Okay, and after we made all those changes, we're going to go down to the step three, the inquire step. And in here, we're not actually going to change anything. If you want, you can change the inquire wait time. That'll be how long this third step runs before it actually times out. And again, how this whole thing works is um, these first two steps are just going to run normal transfers. The only catch is that they have the inquire DD in there. And that's just going to leave a little mark saying uh, that the transfer is going on in the inquire data set. And then this third step is just going to loop and it's going to keep checking the status of those two jobs. And it'll either end right away when those two jobs are finished, or it'll keep checking for the time that you specify in the inquire wait time. And how this works is it's seconds at the end, minutes, and then hours. And this job will keep looping to check to see if they finish within the time frame. If they don't, it'll give you a return code of 48. And it'll tell you why. Otherwise, if they finish before the inquire wait time, the job will actually end right away. It won't just sit around. So with that, we're going to submit this job and see how it works. And we can see that our job got a return code of 0. And if we look at the job output, if we 
the job, we will see in the last XCOM log, we'll see that um, the two transfers were successfully transferred. Now if we want to modify the job and see what would happen if the jobs didn't finish, we can go to either the step one or the step two and we're just going to add another Cisno one to hold the job. So we're just going to put in this hold equals yes here and also remember to change the temporary data set name and we're just going to submit this job and we should get a return code of 36 and that's just going to tell us that the transfer didn't complete in the inquire wait time and it'll tell us why. And if we look at the job we'll see that it's still running because it needs to wait that full uh, inquire wait time out before it actually ends. And once it does end you can see the max return code of 36. And if we look in the job log and we look at the last XCOM log we will see that uh, the request number was not completed and it was remotely held. And that concludes how to run a type equals, ex or type equals inquire job.